We're back! Welcome to Keith Cussie's here. Today we're playing The Sims again. I'm making myself, finally. I didn't think about it. I'm making myself, you know? Every day in life you're making yourself, but today I'm like actually making myself into the man I want to be. This is our town now? Yeah, this is where oh, you live now. We don't live in the desert anymore. No. Hey, look, it's Eugene, everybody. Hey, look, everybody. Breathe in. People probably made me on the internet, right? Yeah. Let's browse. There's one. That's you. There's one. Okay. I am the fifth most popular Keith on The Sims. Three, four, five, six. Taj Makalajaka one. Rolls off the tongue. This is good. It's the exact stubble I have right now. The winner of the Keith contest that was not started officially until now is Taj Makalajaka. One. Congratulations. You will be getting a free shirt in the mail courtesy of Kelsey and Peach K. She can't wait to send it to you. She loves sending gifts to my fans. Let's tear this face apart. We need big lips. Perfect. Keith Kardashian. I wish I was a Kardashian. They seem to have it all. Here's the thing about my chin. This side goes lower than this side. Wait, yeah. People aren't perfect, not even me. Why is his, the bottom of his face red like he's been rubbing paper towels on his jaw? Ooh, he got way sexier after he got that paper towel rash out of there. <laughs> my mouth needs to be bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's put some glasses on this guy. I think that's what's messing us up here. I think we need just the framework. <laughs> this guy is so hot. I have beautiful hazel eyes. Yeah, like that. Let's make them bigger and wider. They need to be bigger. A little too big. A little too anime there. Oh my god, he's so beautiful. This is not me, but this guy is hot. My face is longer than this. Dragging the face down. Still too hot for me. <laughs> Oh, no, there you go. Actually, that helped. Let's put the glasses back on. It almost looks like your college humor counter. It like, does ego. look like Grant. You know why? He's not smiling. Because you don't see my face. Oh, <laughs> done. Oh, skinny head Aversberger. How do people do this? With a picture? Well, we no, have you no, literally never, right here. We never use the picture. Oh, the neck. Change your eyebrows. Into they're what? Straight. Yeah, they're like that. Like this? Yeah. Like this. <laughs> like this. Yeah. This is the worst one I've made. Why is it so hard? Is it because beauty can't be captured in digital form? It's Your not forehead's it. not that big. The ratio to forehead to chin is about similar. It's not like this. So you're making your head like more a triangle, and it's more like Here, you an oval. Dry. You dry. You do it. I'm having a crisis oh, no. now because my face is so weird looking, it can't be recreated digitally. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm figuring it out. Making a key through sense. Making his face look normal. Cause it doesn't look normal right now. <laughs> oh my god. Looks different than it did. You hate the, it. I, well, the eyebrows are wrong. How do you make a Keith? How do you make a Habersberger? It's one of the great questions in life. You know when uh, people put worse. mouths onto like photos and then the mouths talk? And that's the way that mouth looks on my face right now. You put that mouth on your face. Uh, you changed my face. You gotta build around the mouth. And those eyebrows are too little. I got big old brows. Look at the size of these brows. I pull out hair sometimes that are 16 inches long, right out of my eyebrows. It's like one long thread that's been woven through my face. It's like when you pull a string on a sweater, whole eyebrow unravels. Kelsey, thicken those eyebrows. They need to be thick, baby. Not that thick. Closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They start a little higher. <laughs> yeah. They've got an inquisitive nature about them. Okay, your eye shape's a little rounder than his. Oh, I like it. Now put glasses on him. Okay. I think this is gonna be great. Sure. We did it, everybody. He's perfect. Let's change his body around. Ow, hot. Fit, Keith. Let's be honest, I do not have this skinny of a tummy. I'm like a rectangle. <laughs> look at these feeble little giraffe legs. They kind of look like peg legs. I actually have some fucking big calves. Look at these, look at these. <laughs> look at these calf muscles. They're huge. You can bear it. Sometimes my pants get stuck on my calves. Oh, this guy's looking pretty good. I wear jeans now, but I used to never wear jeans. Fun fact, I liked wearing cargo pants. Those pants are terrible. There it is. Wow. Wow. Hey. Hey. It looks like me. Oh, wow. Look at this. It looks too short. How do I make it taller? Unfortunately, just... in The Sims, they don't let you change their height. <sighs> 
This is Keith Habersberger. This is a typical everyday look. Blue squares hanging out. Not fit, not fat. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Hey, you looking good, a little formal. Maybe I got a meeting, huh? Maybe I need to pitch some more fried chicken series and get the company to pay for my eating habits. Now let's go sports. Jeez, I sure don't play sports. Is this what people wear? Great, now let's move to nighttime, sleepy time. I sleep like Eugene, only in my underwear. Fun fact, all the Try Guys except for Ned sleep only in their underwear. Ned wears an undershirt. Hot fact, great. Oh but wait, I can't nap now. I gotta go to a party, so I'll dress totally fine. Turns out it's a pool party. Let's rip up some hides. I am food. You're not a friend to the world or a comedy star? Oh, maybe I am a comedy star. I'm a joke star, but also I feel like I'm a friend of the world. Do you think I'm a friend of the world? And then maybe I'll be a goofball. It's <laughs> a good impression of me. I am a foodie. Now let's do... Good. Time to move into our house. Put some clothes on, Eugene. Let's check everyone's status. Eugene is fine. Ned is uncomfortable, as always. Zach is at school, feeling energized. And Keith is also feeling energized. Happy to be home, happy to talk to his friends. I'm gonna give Eugene a little pep talk. I know that Eugene is uh, always a little morose. And where am I? You're on the computer. Oh my God, this is so meta. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? You're playing Sims. Let me look at my face. I'm probably making a way hotter version of myself. Go see Eugene. Oh, look at all my ideas. God, I'm brilliant. Good morning, world. It is I, Keith, just encouraging my friends. Hey, Ned. Hey, Eugene. What's going on, bud? <laughs> Good to see you. We're friends. Well, look at this long shot. It's like we're spying on our neighbors. What it would look like if we were our neighbors. What are they doing over there? Huh? Kelsey, don't be too loud. They might see us. What do you think they're doing over there? Well, one of them's naked. That Yang family has ruined the neighborhood. They moved in here with this big obnoxious house. I'll sneak up on them. Oh, look at them. They're having a great time. Well, it looks like you had a ring on. Oh, how did it know? Bye, Eugene. I You're the only you. married try guy in the house. Oh, my God. I'm the married one? My wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. Ned. Let's go cheer up, Ned. The house has been super dysfunctional all this time, and we've never understood why. It's because I was never there. I'm the missing link. I'm that little piece of peace that everyone needs in their life. And it's not because you don't know how to play Sims. No, 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 no. It's because Keith wasn't there. Where did Eugene go? Do we have a backyard? Oh, shit! <laughs> Eugene, go swimming! Skinny dip with me! <laughs> Ned's talking about garbage. God, they just never stop, do they? Is that, is that come home. When do, how, wh where does he get the nerve? to go educate himself. Not in my house. How do I, how does he come home? Leave school early. Come home. I need you here. Look <laughs> at me. I am naked in the pool. Eugene is naked grilling. Boy, are we having a good time. Wow, Keith comes in the house and suddenly it is a party. We got our dicks out all over the place. Eugene, no, what are you serving? Are you serving sausages? Hey, Zach's home and he's uncomfortable. We saw Eugene naked. What would Zach do? He would throw a tantrum because he does not like to see grown up naked man at his dinner table. Eugene did put on some clothes, which is nice. Here comes Keith, totally naked. And he's just sitting down naked, having some food. <laughs> All right, Keith, great work. Let's have Keith talk to Zach, make him feel better. Oh no! Zach's making a Mess. Can I adopt Zach? I'm adopting Zach right off the bat. He's my responsibility now. Is that all it takes? Any paperwork? Do I need to wait three to six months? He's your dependent now. Zach, clean up this mess. No son of mine is gonna ruin our new carpet. Ned's oh, cleaning it up. Ned's got it. Thanks, bro. Where's Keith? Keith, Keith. What am I doing? I never knew how much responsibility it would be to have a son. Zach, go pee. You clearly have to pee. <laughs> oh no, last week says no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Oh, I don't want him to ask other kids if he can join. I want him to come home and play with me. Play with his cool dad. All right, I'm gonna tell him to do this. I'm increasing his conflict resolution and his emotional control decreases. I didn't mean to do that. That was my only option. I want him to have a great emotional control. No, you gotta teach it to him. Okay, Zach needs to pee bad. Luckily, there's a bathroom right here. You know why? Because houses need bathrooms on every floor. Am I in Zach's room? You're Zach? getting a book. Zach, read this Bible. You're going to be Christian now. No more Judaism for you, young one. <laughs> You're gonna learn about Jesus with me as your father. Where are our doggies and kitties at? Are they here? No, they got adopted by another family, but you can bring them back if you want. Oh, some family just came in my house and took my pets? Wow. We did that on purpose because you 
<laughs> said it was too much. So I adopted them out while you've been gone. <laughs> Would they have died or something? They're just digital pets. They're not real. I was connected to them, Keith. I needed them to have a happy family. Can we just bring Bowie back in? You can apparently invite the dog to hang out at your lot. <laughs> so over, Bowie. And where's Ned? He's feeling energized. Ned's feeling good. What's Ned doing? Ned is not allowed to play The Sims. No, stop, stop it. Go talk to Eugene. Where's Eugene? Where I can never keep tabs on my boys. Discuss your interest with Eugene. And I'm eating. Am I eating fried chicken? No. Hey, a dog is here. Oh. Zach, go pet the doggy. Oh, pet boy. dag. No, that's a dog, not a dag. Hey, I'm playing with the dag. I'm thinking about food and love and playing with the dag. Hi, dag. And Zach, oh my, Zach, Zach, are you serious? Can you please, oh my God, Zach, where are you? Wake him up. <laughs> and yell at him about the floor. Hey, Zach, wake up. Look, here's the thing. You're getting pain everywhere. It's kind of nuts. Ned, get out of here. This is a dad moment. Please, Ned, go find a bench. Ned, don't talk about yourself. I'm trying to teach my son about how to be a better son. My gosh, Ned, Ned's just so eager to be a dad. Look at him. Look at this face. Oh, he's so excited about the opportunity. Look at him. Now I want to teach Zach. That's my objective, is to make Zach a better boy. I'm going to encourage, learn. I'm going to say please and thank you, Zach Manners. When you need something, say please. When you're done with something, say thank you. Oh, look at us bonding. Whoa, we got something else going on. I can't, I'm behind the door. Yeah, look at Eugene go. Have fun, Eugene. Clean it up, clean it up. This is the second time Eugene's been naked in this video so far. You bring Keith in the house, good times for me. <laughs> hey, you're parenting level two, I'm Keith. a level two dad? Wow, my wow. fortitude and constitution have gone up one. Look at that fucking confident ass boy. God, there's a bar here. Eugene, where's Eugene at? Maybe you guys should throw a party and invite all of Ned's love interests. Oh, shit. Let's find Ned, a uh, wife. We're gonna have a house party. Yeah, We're all, all hosts, of except Zach. Invite Lily Valtor. Wait. What happened to the rest of the people that you we're guys know? Friends. Don't we know anyone? What happened to the old lady? I guess we're just inviting Lilith. And Zach, just hire some people, then more people will come. How much is this gonna cost me? Who cares? Yeah, Money is but an object when you have cheat codes. Just like life. All right, Lilith, get ready to be overwhelmed because it's only us. Hey, the bartender's here. Eugene, come get your fix. Order your favorite drink, Eugene. You can have anything you want. Keith is getting some stuff ready with the cook. Let's find Ned here. Ned, no. Ned, what are you doing? What? I'm sitting alone you're you're drinking sitting the drinking cup. milk upstairs facing the wall in Zach's room. Ned, what's wrong? Ned is so sad in this reality. He just really wants a son. What's he doing in here? We're hosting a party, bro. I gotta find a woman for him to talk to. Where's Lilith? Yeah, where the f is our guest? Uh, this party sucks. Uh, maybe everybody should skinny dip? Skinny dip. Ned and Abram <laughs> and Keith. Pool party! because nobody's at the party. Lilith didn't come. Oh God, I thought we were gonna have a nice party, but I guess you guys came. all need to make more friends. And I only told Ned to get naked, <laughs> so only Ned is naked <laughs> in the pool. Zach, get in the pool with the uh -oh, guys. Oh, he's and... being irresponsible. Now is your parenting Zach. moment, Oh Keith. shit, 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 shit. Dude, parenting, parenting, parenting. Go, go, go. Parenting, discipline. Strict. Yell. Zach, stop. You get paint everywhere. Where am I disciplining? I'm disciplining from the pool. Zach, you just can't keep doing this. Are you trying to get attention? What's going on, Zach? Just be honest. You just taught him a lesson in responsibility. I'm gonna tell Zach to go to bed. He's been a bad boy. Go to bed. Go to bed, Zach. You don't get to hang out at the party. What's this woman doing on my computer? Hey, I hired you to cook. Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. You are a shitty cook. Zach, you are not in bed. This is a couch. Who is that? Who is this? Oh, that's the bartender. I did ask the bartender to go swimming. He has an excuse. Get these people out of my house. Keith, discipline Zach, put him to bed. Tell that woman to go. You gotta get out of here. You were playing Tetris. Everybody saw it. Get out of my house. This is Ned. That's looking good. How's he still so lonely? Yeah, all right, Ned, put on the show. Maybe we should get Ned a job as a sexy bartender. That's what he needs. He doesn't have a purpose. What would Ned want to do if Ned couldn't? He is a chemist. Maybe he should be a scientist. Maybe he'll meet a beautiful science woman. There's a woman there. Who oh. is that? Who are you? Wait, 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 wait. Ned, Ned, Ned. Chase her. Right, let's see if he can handle this one. She's pretty. She's beautiful. Her name is Penny Pizzazz. I've been really forward with Ned. I'm going to be a little less forward. Give pep talk. Lots of her voice is so pleasant. Oh my gosh, Ned. 
has level two charisma. I'm a level two parent. Zach has got some manners. And Eugene, all we need to do is give Eugene one more trait and we're crushing this day. He's sleeping. He's almost a level two mischief. Let's just mess with somebody on the street. There's always people outside. Oh, where, where are they? There's always people walking around. Well, it is like 4 a.m. Hello, hello. You know, we're blessed, really. To be able to live in such a nice home. In my mind, it's just the Family Matters theme song. A vampire oh, is here. shit, there's He's a vampire visiting. here. Gina, I think there's a vampire here. Invite him in. Look close, look at this guy, oh my god. Come on in. Aw, oh, he's making friends. Let's be rude. Yeah, let's keep being rude. Mark is thirst for plasma. You're so weak, you need to steal my life to live, you loser. You're a piece of garbage. Bye, lady. Wait, that girl's back. She went home and changed and came back. All right, Ned, take two. Pick up line. Come on, Ned. Woo! On love. Ned is still hanging out in this speedo. I love this newfound confidence from Ned. She's inviting Ned to a party. Look oh, at Ned showing shit. Ned she's inviting him oh, to a party. Oh shit, except, okay, you're going on your own. Fucking Ned's gotten invited to a party. This is thrilling. What could possibly happen next? Who knows? You'll have to tune in next time where we pick this up with Ned going to a party. Oh my God, he's gonna fall in love. Zach is finally growing into the teenager he was always destined to be. Eugene is becoming a little more mischievous and yet a little more relatable. Myself, Keith, is perfect in every way and is making everyone happier. And of course, well, that's all of us, huh? <laughs> Tune in next time for when we allow Ned to finally maybe fall in love and I start killing the other guys, right? Because that's something you do in The Sims, right? You just kill them? Y you can. Oh, I sure can. Who's gonna die? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Bye.